All right, you guys. Ah, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back, or, well, kind of not back, but forward. Welcome forward to the number 70 video on the top 100 greatest NFL players of all time. Now, this video completely vanished. It's kind of like the Aaron Rodgers number 10 video for the top 100 players of 2018 because whatever I did, wherever I looked, I could not find it. I've been told that number 70, I can't actually remember whose name it is, but there is a, a compilation video on YouTube including from 70 down to 60. So I, I feel like it's probably an hour long and I think that's gonna be the only way I actually finally see this video. So, we have two numbers that I could not locate. That was number 70, and number 55. Now I know number 55 is Earl Campbell and number 55 is actually the one that I'm up to at the moment. So any of you guys who are following along the entire list you'll know that the last one I did was number 56 which was Gene Upshaw and uh, the reason I haven't gone on to number 55 is because I cannot, I can't find my reaction to it. So I've watched the video before but I'm going to do a reaction again because I need every single player on that fucking list. That's the way I do things. When I start something, I've got to finish it. So with that being said, number 70 is today, and the next video is going to be number 55. Stay tuned. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Previously on the top 100, Troy had that fiery computer. We fucking got it. We got it, guys. Who is number 70? It's a, fr it's a mystery. In fact, you know what? Let's... Let's watch from the start. After number 70, I'll finish it. It's going to show a little bit of a snippet from number 80 to 71, which I'll enjoy because I haven't actually seen those ones for a while. So let's, let's sit back and relax and see what's up. 480, that's fine. Hey, get a block, anyone at the no, I'm board. Junior League. That idea that you could have a game breaker on the defensive side of the ball originated with Emlyn tonight. Emlyn to now. Bruce could play every position on the offensive line. He made all pro at Big Bruce. Position. He's not only in the top 100, but he's, he's right Bruce, there. Bruce, Bruce. Tony Dorsett, he's a legend. For he sure. Very tough. Very mentally tough. But he was also gifted athletically. That's what the great players do. They make it look easy, and Darrell was one of those. The great players of any era. That was Carl Lewis talking before. Play in any other era. If he walked in today, he'd start for any team in the league. He was beating him to death. Look at that. Yeah, he deserves to be on this list. It's a Aussie touchdown Browns! When you play down in Ogden, you pray. They Jonathan dig Ogden. in bears. <laughs> he is huge. Paul Warfield. Now, who's number 70? Warfield's gone. And now, the countdown continues. I love this show. I absolutely love it. Do you reckon they're going to bring out another Top 100 video series for possibly 2020? Because that's 10 years after the last one. Man, if I... I would be sitting down on the couch making sure I watched this every single week when it came out. It's the best. They need a rugby top 100 players series. I'm fucking telling you. They, they, we need to produce that. We really do. In the same way, with the same theatrics, the same, you know, the same, the same guy talking in the background. That would be cool. All right. He didn't have the bulging biceps. He wasn't a workout fiend from the standpoint of uplifting weights. And he didn't necessarily look the part. So many people would come up to me and say, you know, who's that sitting in Marshall Falk's locker? We all would just get smiles on our face and we're like, that's Marshall that's Falk. That's Marshall Falk. <laughs> Is he a running back? But inside of that exterior that maybe didn't look the part was the greatest football player that you would probably ever play with. There was not anything that he did that he didn't do well. There he is. That's what I think made Marshall Falk great. Everything he was going to do, he was going to do it. Pin best. your ears back and go. Two cuts and see you later. 
I remember a screen pass that we threw against Minnesota Vikings. What's he going to do? Marshall went 55 yards with it, eluding every single person on the Vikings team, if not once, maybe twice. Probably a 55-yard touchdown that covered about 130 yards. People just went wow. They would have. Forget the big red ass. Superman wears a 2-8 on his chest. You know what you need? Check him out. Takes the hit, keeps going, he's strong. I wonder how tall he is. Career, career with the Colts and Rams, Marshall Fogg became the only running back in NFL history to rush for more than 12,000 yards and have more than 6,000 yards receiving. Whoa! Really? When he retired, his 136 touchdowns were fourth on the all-time list. I shouldn't be surprised. I'm, I'm, I'm acting like I'm surprised with these stats. He's number 70 on the all-time list. I shouldn't be surprised. But to have 12,000 rushing yards and 6,000 receiving yards, 130-something touchdowns. Now that is a career. Come on, guys. You can't say much. You can't say much more. That is a career and a half. He's amazing. Wow. What else can Marshall Falk do for this football team? In 1999, the Rams win a Super, Super Bowl, powered by Falk's then NFL record 2,429 yards from scrimmage. Part of an offense known. What? So 2,400 yards from scrimmage, that's not rushing, is it? That's a mixture of rushing and receiving. We're going to look up some records after this. The greatest show on turf. The greatest show on turf was three-fourths Marshall Fall. The thing about Marshall is you couldn't match up with him. We could split him out like a wide receiver, and he'd run routes like a wide receiver. You couldn't put a linebacker on him. If they wanted to put a DB on him, they gave us an advantage somewhere else. So strictly his versatility is what allowed us to separate ourselves from everyone else because he was on the field on every snap. Yeah. Time after time and again. after time, he got the ball in his hands, and, and you're back there going, oh, look out. And before you could even get the look out out of your mouth, he was avoiding that guy and getting on to the next guy. I like that. I would have loved to see him play. He's got a nice spin, nice jump cut. It was like he was one step ahead of the defense every time he was out there. Oh, it was shit. A crazy vision that That's he had, not easy. the ability to be able to see players that you wonder how he could ever see them. You know, they might be three yards behind him. We're all artists. When you're running the ball, basically, I So many times that I wanted to pause that and run it through again, but I'm not going to. That's what it is. There's a set place where the player is supposed to go. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. And then from there, it's what's in Let's listen. Oh my god, this is exactly this is exactly how I play as a running back. Yeah, you've got your hole, yeah, you've got your you've got your lane that you're meant to go through, but if it doesn't happen, what are you gonna do, Marshall? What are you gonna do? We're all artists. When you're running the ball, basically that's what it is. There's a set place where the player is supposed to go. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. And then from there, it's what's inside of you. Just like every other artist, you know, he doesn't know why or for whatever reason what made him paint this picture. Oh, I'm getting shivers listening to that, bro. They are, they're artists, mate. Running backs are freaking artists. There is no manual. There is no manual. You bring your skills, you bring your, you bring your flair and see what you can do. That's why I love it so much, because it's so unpredictable. You can jump cut wherever you want. When Saquon Barkley gets it, he's meant to be going that way, but he's not. He sees the defense freaking shifting that way. He's like, bam, see ya. I'm going to use my speed around the other way. Like, and, and people love it. I don't know if the coaches love it, because he's probably going the, the exact opposite way, but you know, with a guy like Saquon Barkley, with a guy like Marshall Falk, you're going to give them free reign to, to play their own game, aren't you? I, I, just, I just love running backs. how you feel and what you think and what you see what you trust that's the only thing that i can think about running a football is like 
the one run that jumped out to me. I love it. More than any others was a game we were playing against Cleveland in 99. Marshall made a run where he broke through the line and he eluded basically every one of the defenders in the secondary. Oh! oh. And I think it was from that moment forward that I never carried out a play fake the rest of my career because I was afraid I was going to miss that wow run. Hey, Marshall, we didn't block anybody. Because any given moment with Marshall, it could be one of them. <laughs> we didn't block anybody, is that what he said? Because I was afraid I was going to miss that wow run. Hey, Marshall, we didn't block anybody. <laughs> he just made the whole way up his field without no blocks. Oh, we're going to watch that run again, man. That was insane. The way that he did, he did, he, he did a uh, stop start and then go again. The way that he did, the way that he did a, a, go, a go stop and go. I'll show you in a, in a split second. Let's watch it. In Stop, go. Marshall made a run where he broke through the line. This one. And he eluded basically every one of the defenders in the secondary. And took oh my god, we have, to, we have to watch that in slow motion. We gotta, I gotta talk your way through that. I gotta talk my way through this, guys. This was insane. Let's have a look at this, man. So many different types of, of Duke in one run. Now, sorry about the sound, but this is absolutely necessary. Bang off the right, gets round him, off the left. That one right there, where he goes left, right, and then keeps going forward. Everyone thought that he was coming laterally, but he started going forward. He started going forwards again. This guy's falling over. He gets through him. Then he makes another cut. Gets through that guy. And bang! See, now that was so effective because even me watching that, I thought he's banging in his right foot. He's definitely going to be going to the left. But he doesn't. It's a, it's a lateral jump cut, isn't it? They literally jump off both feet, which I've never really done. Like, that was a... That was a beautiful jump. That was a beautiful jump cut. Let's watch that. Okay, come on. Bang off the right, bang off the left, stop start, gets through, breaks that tackle. In, in the motion, bang, thinks he's going left, but no, jump cuts to the right, see ya, get him, get him off, and then it's bang off the right, which is the original step that I thought he was going to do, splits those two, another one, behind his blocker. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting too excited, guys, fucking hell. Never carried out a play fake the rest of my career because I was afraid I was going to miss that wild run. Hey, Marshall. Now that whole run happened in, in the space of about two seconds, which is what makes it unbelievable and what backs up what he said before about being an artist. He didn't know he was going to do that. And obviously the, the defense didn't know either. We didn't block anybody. Because any given moment with Marshall, it could be one of them. <laughs> we didn't block anybody. And that's what, in my opinion, made him the best player I was ever around. Alright, okay, so that's that. Number 70 is done. I've got that off the list. That's out of my head, which is fantastic. The next one we're going to do is number 55, Earl Campbell. And then from there, we'll continue down the list. So I want to say, if you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe for more, that'd be great. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.